These forgotten offerings, these are the pieces that even to a person who doesn't find any familiarity or know much about Messian, it, the music will speak to you immediately. It is also, and this again, something that's very hard to really describe or put your finger on exactly, but there is something unmistakably French, something that you, you, you feel that all the music history that that has happened in France before him somehow has had an effect without all of what preceded Messiaen. This could not have been written. It was something very special and, and typically French in the way it's slightly enigmat enigmatic. You don't really, you can't really put your finger on like in very often, in, in many cases, you can in German music. These two French pieces, these two um, organ-oriented French pieces are uh, sort of perfect bookends for a Mendelssohn violin concerto. The connection is pretty obvious to to Saint Sans, and again there is a, a, an obvious emphasis um, to to the, the the sonority of the organ, even though <clears throat> organ in itself doesn't doesn't play such a major role throughout the piece. It is what makes the piece at the end. At the end, the entrance of the organ is 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 an event like like very few events in music uh, music history. This is a sort of a malarian effect of of what what the the, the 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 sort of overwhelming sound of organ. What does it do to you when you heard the whole symphony and how it sort of elevates everything and, and it's, it's it's really very very impressive and and these two french pieces are obviously in some way connected on 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 that rather simplistic but but valid level